create the pattern. We start out with a, a blank towel with no, no design. And we have to sit and pick the pattern. So we, we have to decide, either in our mind, the, 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 the creators of these complex cloths were creative weavers. And they envisioned this in their mind and they sat down and created the original design and they did that either by in their mind visualizing the image they were going to be weaving in this case the, the naga or the whatever the image is if she's copying it which is much more commonplace today she has an existing cloth which she then reads and takes the image of that cloth and transfers it onto the loom in a grid system. So for usually of units of two or four or six or eight ends as one unit. So this particular cloth is, um, there's a series here of threads that are raised and lower, and they're in units of two. So this is quite fine. So every unit we are weaving this. This is a shaman head cloth. So units of two threads. Two threads, and then she. We have picked the pattern to determine which threads are going to be raised and which threads are going to be lowered. When we do that, we then insert one string to save the pattern that was picked to go up or down. The original one we have to pick by hand. Now we're going to take another row of our pattern, which we already picked, and we're moving, we're taking the picked pattern, and we're saving the order in which it is created. And we're transferred it from the top. It's a loop. We transferred it from the top to the bottom. She then inserts her sword and raised the long eye petal to create a new row of pattern, which then, when it, the sword is turned on its side, tells her which threads have to go up and which threads are going down. So, so for example, she's raised her sword, a new row of pattern is laid out here, and now she inlays in the shed, this is called the shed, the separation, she now inlays her next row of pattern, thereby building her design, which she is now creating the elements of how this weave this cloth is going to look. So that pattern that is in principle first we create the cow, the design, and we do that uh, based on two things. One, here we're, there's a photo where we're actually creating the pattern. It's picked with a piece of bamboo, one row at a time, and then we insert the, the master strings, the master design are inserted. And then once we have the master template, any weaver then can sit down, who is a skilled weaver at this, and read the design which okay, we so as you pick it out, you're then creating the, the master template. The master. And then, in this case, Milavan is a very skilled weaver. She is reading the warp pattern as it appears, and then knows how she's going to place the threads, the discontinuous supplementary weft threads across the face of the fabric. And she then builds her design. And she sees this when the when the sword is vertical. When the sword is vertical, and she can see what um, threads are raised and lowered. Now, this is a very important point 
in my mind for where original creative weaving comes in because the creation of the design happens when we create a, we have a blank um, a blank um, canvas and then we create the pattern here so the painter the artist happens at this stage the creation of the stage this person is a technician who reads the creation of the artist although even though she's reading it and it's already created she can determine the actual individuality of how it this, appears this by the way she reads it. Okay, okay, so that new, but so a second kind of creativity can come in. Yes, where, where the weaver, using the master template, which instructs her which threads go up and down, she then uses her own creative process to read those instructions and to create the color and the pattern according to her own wishes. So she can make changes in it. Oh, we do all the time. We, we move them around, we skip some, we, you have a lot of flexibility. We don't like a certain bit, we want to repeat a double, we want to mirror something. On the many of the cloths, you'll see the diamond is um, mirrored, you see here, they created this much. They could have continued, this is upside down because the comb that was on the bottom, it moved up to here and then it went backwards so it's symmetric. So it's all, the technology um, is part of how the pattern actually gets created. So 